here now to discuss the latest on the war in Ukraine and Biden's claims. Former advisor to the Secretary of Defense under President Trump, Colonel Doug McGregor. Colonel, welcome back to the program. Um, you don't get into the politics much, and I appreciate that because you're a, a tried and true, good old salty dog warrior, and I love that about you, Colonel. But let me just ask you. The alleged sitting commander-in-chief president is blaming all of our problems in this country on Vladimir Putin. Is he right or is he wrong? Well, I think most Americans understand that what's happening right now in Ukraine has very little impact on us here other than to make matters worse than they already were. But the, the notion that somehow or another Putin is the author of our problems is a, is a lot of nonsense. And the, the really sad part of all of this is that in order to par persuade Americans that, that what's happening in Ukraine really does in affect their lives profoundly, uh, has involved using these terms of genocidal warfare. These are unsubstantiated allegations. There's no real basis in fact. No one is checking his facts. No one in the media is looking at facts. They're looking at hyperbole. They're trying to whip up, mobilize anti-Russian sentiment. It's a pleasant distraction from the standpoint of the media and the politicians from the disaster that you described here at home, but not yeah. much more. Yeah. Why the push? You know, the, the two things I keep hearing now this week, Colonel, is the words genocide and Putin might use nukes. That's all I keep hearing. And those two yeah. things obviously would push the American people, I think this government thinks, and maybe folks around the world, into a war with Russia. So do you feel like I feel that these two narratives and talking points are to try and, again, push us to add support, not only for our money going over there, but potentially troops and putting boots on the ground, which I think is the wrong thing to do. Well, I, I think we have to take that into account. First of all, the notion of using nuclear weapons is nonsense. There are only, only one set of conditions under which the Russians would actually consider it, and that is if we launch nuclear weapons at them, obviously, and secondly, if suddenly they had a million men on the scale of the, the German army in World War II standing on their borders. None, neither of those situations really exist. So the notion of the Russians using nuclear weapons is nonsense. And we know that the prevailing winds in Europe blow from west to east, which means that if the Russians were for some reason to use a nuclear weapon in Eastern Europe, the fallout would stretch across Siberia, Russia, all the way to uh, Manchuria, China, uh, Korea and Japan. So no, that's complete nonsense. Uh, I, I do worry a great deal about the potential for, you know, falsehoods. In other words, somebody that's claims that I'm the Russians about. have done something. You know, that, that that's real. And, and it's going to get worse right now because we're in the final phase of this war. Right now, there are between 40 and 60,000 Ukrainian troops left in eastern Ukraine. They're in an area of about 150 to 200 square miles. They're immobilized, they're entrenched in defensive positions. They have no fuel, they have only enough ammunition to sustain themselves for a few few more weeks. Uh, they don't have enough water, they have no medical uh, evacuation capability, and they've got a lot of civilians who are actually Russians living in the area. They're now surrounded, and uh, the Russian army is going to move very carefully to avoid civilian casualties there, but they will annihilate these Ukrainian troops. And my fear is that when it becomes abundantly clear that all of these discussions about the uh, collapsing Russian army and the great victorious Ukrainians fall apart, that then people really will say, well, we've got to do something, or we in Washington who've made all these ridiculous claims will look ridiculous yet again. Ah. That worries me, and I think it's a valid 